Hello. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the Supreme Stud Selector. You'll notice I have two panels here, previously framed with Struxsoft Solutions MWF Pro Wall Add-in. You'll notice my 6-inch wall is being framed with a 600S137-33. Let's begin by opening this panel's properties and locating the Supreme Stud Selector. Once in the stud selector, I can begin specifying my panel criteria, such as my deflection, my lateral load, my product, and the height chart to be used, and then specifying my web and my spacing. And you'll notice that my member chart has been narrowed down to these three members. Notice the 14 foot 6 has a little E beside it. That indicates this member requires web stiffeners at end supports. Then I simply select the member I wish to use, and you'll notice it appears here. I also have the option to use Supreme Structural Tracks on the top and bottom of my panel. Then simply click OK to have these members loaded into your project. And when I return to the Revit environment, you'll notice that my panel is now framing with 600 SFS 162-43s. I can then repeat this process for my non-structural wall. As you'll notice, I'm framing with a 400S125-33. So again, I return to the panel properties and open the Supreme non-structural stud selector. Then I'll make my selection based off my deflection, my lateral load, my product, web spacing, and again, specify my member. Click OK again. And these members are loaded into my panel. I can then create a template from these panels properties and continue framing these walls in my project. And that is a brief look at the Supreme Stud Selector.